Today is a WDSU weather alert day and our risk of severe weather has gone up for some areas. Take a look at this map. You see the red on there. That is now a moderate risk, which is a level four out of five. That is a high risk for severe weather. This includes the North Shore, our Mississippi counties and the metro area as well. So we have now been upgraded to a level four moderate risk in those areas. Everywhere else still a level three enhanced risk. So we all have the risk of severe weather. Right now we're watching some of these downpours develop. Some of these could become thunderstorms out there. We do have the possibility. Look there. There's a flash of lightning, so we're watching these continue to move across portions of the North Shore and the South Shore, and we're watching these carefully because they do have the ability to rotate and form a tornado. You can see that over here over New Iberia. There's a tornado warning there, so they these individual thunderstorms have the possibility of rotating. Then behind that, there's this more defined line of storms here that has also been producing severe weather throughout the morning hours, flood warnings, as well as tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. And that will move in later this afternoon, also bringing the risk of severe weather. Right now we have a tornado watch for parts of our area until one o'clock. I think this is going to be expanded to include most, if not all of our coverage area, and it will also likely be extended later on into the afternoon or early evening hours. We have a high risk of flooding, a high risk of tornadoes, a medium risk of damaging wind gusts and a low risk of hail, but all modes of severe weather are possible. Here's the timing. Right now we're dealing with these individual thunderstorms out there that will continue into the early afternoon hours. Then by around two o'clock, that line of thunderstorms will arrive. So in these individual thunderstorms, we could see large tornadoes develop. They could also be severe and produce damaging wind gusts. They could produce hail. They could also dump a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Then behind that with this line of storms, we also have the risk of all of those modes of severe weather. And that's when the flood Flooding risk really comes into play because with the, the rainfall that we see in the individual thunderstorms and then the steady heavy rain from this line of storms, that will start to build up. The timing again arriving to the north, north Shore around 2 o'clock, then moving across the North Shore through around 5 o'clock, arriving to river parishes around 3 o'clock, moving through the metro area between 4 and 5 o'clock, and then continuing to move towards coastal areas closer to 6 o'clock, and then exiting. We could see a few lingering showers behind it, but the severe weather threat comes to an end early this evening. Our tornado risk has gone up as of the last update. So now where you see this color here, that's where we are under that moderate risk of severe weather. That's because the tornado risk has gone up a 15% probability of a tornado within 25 miles of a point. And not only that, but all these dashes here, that's the hatched area, which means that we could see large tornadoes, stronger tornadoes, EF2 to EF5 tornadoes are possible. That includes our entire area. So whether you're in the 10% probability or the 15% probability, we all have the risk of seeing large, long-lived, strong tornadoes this afternoon. We also have that risk of flooding. A flood watch is in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. For everyone except for coastal Louisiana, we can see four to six inches of rain with locally higher amounts as well. So if you do live in an area that floods easily, you want to think about moving your car to higher ground. We also, of course, have the probability of damaging wind gusts 58 miles an hour or stronger than that. So that means that we could see Christmas decorations fly, trash cans fly. If you have any outdoor lightweight items, please make sure they are secure so they don't become projectiles. We could also see some power outages with this strong wind that's likely on the way. And last but not least, we do have the risk of hail. Now this is our lowest risk, but we do have the probability of a hail that could be up to or over an inch in diameter. So that can also cause damage. So again, today is a WDSU weather alert day for the risk of severe weather. We are here staffed all day, keeping a very close eye on it. Please stay weather aware. Please have multiple reliable ways of receiving weather alerts. You can use our WDSU weather app for that or our app to get those weather alerts. Also weather radio works as well, but stay weather aware. Make sure you have ways of receiving those alerts when they are issued. Know where your safe spot is and into your room. No external windows or walls, and it has to be on the lowest ground. Mobile homes are unsafe in this type of weather. Now, this will move out this evening again, and then overnight tonight we dry out. Cooler weather will arrive. We'll be in the 60s Thursday and Friday down to the 50s starting on Saturday.